a major update for Halo Infinite's progression system is going to go live very soon, and you'll be earning more than three times the XP to go towards your progression on the battle pass. How's it all going to play out? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. Late last night, 343 on Twitter announced a change to the progression system and how much XP you'll be earning within your first six matches. So we're going to go into what those changes are, why they made those changes as well, and what you can look forward to when it comes to your progression in Halo Infinite. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button as it really helps out the video and channel get a better place within that YouTube algorithm. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the official release with just like a couple weeks away of Halo Infinite well make sure you tap subscribe so let's get right into the content here so we all know when Halo Infinite launched like the progression of how we earned XP within the game just wasn't really that great if anything it was a complete grind with having to play X amount of games just to earn a little bit of XP well they changed that within the first week of this beta being out where you earn 50 XP per game which is awesome to see and a more important thing that they double the length of the double xp boost to an hour instead of 30 minutes now while that might feel great getting 50 xp per game it actually wasn't really beneficial to the player actually it was anything more detrimental to what they had previously the spreadsheet put together here on reddit showcases how you really didn't see much of a benefit at all if anything more of a negative when it came to the 50 xp earned per match not until about your 17th to your 24th game where it'd be kind of like sometimes better sometimes Times worse and then only after your 24th game when you actually would see a benefit to the new XP system so if anything we earned XP slower with this update and 343 said that we're going to continue to monitor the progression utilizing player feedback as well as data to see what needs to be changed moving forward well we got an update from Unicheck late last night talking about the progression system so let's just dive right into it Unicheck states after seeing how XP earned with those changes talking about the 50 XP per match we noticed that players were starting Starting their sessions with slower payouts than we'd like. To address this, we'd like to increase the XP payouts for the first six matches of each day. And here it is outlined right here. Your first match will get you 300 XP. Your second and third match will earn you 200. Your following three matches, the fourth, fifth, and sixth, will gain you 100 XP, and then seven plus will get you your 50 XP. Meaning your first six matches from just playing Halo Infinite will earn you 1,000 XP, AKA one tier on the battle pass for playing six games. And that's not taking into consideration completing challenges. That's not taking in consideration the double XP on top of that. And when you compare it to the old system, we would have had 400 XP. With the current system, we, had, we would have had 300 XP. So we're really getting like 3.33 times the amount of XP than we did previously. Within your initial play session, obviously the grinders out there might not be seeing a whole lot of a change when it comes to their experience gains. But this will certainly help out you guys who are just casually playing like normal amount of healthy amount of Halo, which I know is very hard to do right now because the gameplay of Halo Infinite is just so dang good. That's becoming a bit of a meme of just one more game because playing Halo Infinite's multiplayer is just fantastic. But the thing is that the customization and the battle pass and the monetization and also just the progression just in general just isn't where it needs to be right now. And Unishek recognizes this point on top of that, stating here, we know many of you want even larger changes and we're committed to doing so but those will take time we made this update based on data and player feedback and we'll monitor its impact after we push it live tomorrow morning which by the time you're watching this video would be today as always keep sharing your feedback but Unishek wasn't the only person from 343 who chimed in on this update the head of design at 343 Jerry Hook who actually has very much invested when it comes to the progression and battle pass stated we continue to to make improvements more is coming that address the concerns we have heard from beta and flights lord and savior and creative director joseph stan chimed in saying that the halo infinite great journey continues when we can make quick targeted changes we absolutely will we know other changes are needed but these will take more time. Thanks for your patience and support, and we hope you keep having fun. I think an important thing to take note of that this game has really only been out for a little bit over two weeks now, and we've already seen pretty big changes when it comes to the progression. So we know that 343 is listening to feedback. They're looking at the data, seeing 
how much progression should really feel like. Obviously bouncing out toward us, not handing out XP for free, but also on the other hand, not making it a total grind fest, which is kind of what they promised us, but that's kind of what they gave us, at least at launch of this beta. Though this still doesn't truly address a lot of the core issues that are happening right now with Halo Infinite, especially when it comes to the battle pass, at least the content that's in it directly, because we've seen some questionable items within the battle pass and, and also in the microtransaction store that kind of make you question like, you're really charging us for this? Some of the more egregious options and within the battle pass are right here on the left side is the default armor and on the right side is the level 99 armor coating where only difference really is like the blue lights compared to the red lights. And similar kind of thing here down below where the left side is an already unlocked blue armor coating and here's like the level 14 battle pass armor coating which is just like blue lights one blue coating which is kind of just meh. Also, I feel like the challenge system could use a bit of love because right now it does kind of feel like doing the challenges within Halo Infinite is more of like a tedious checklist rather than anything that's kind of something fun to do within the game. Something like gaining five kills with a sidekick, which is pretty common to do, especially within quick play, doesn't really feel much of a reward and much more of a task that you need to complete within the game. At least on the MCC side of things, when you did challenges, you feel like you accomplished something in a little bit of a way. Or like, for example, for me, I really struggled to get kill streaks within Fiesta and uh, for, the, for me to get my Willow T coding, I had to get five separate killing sprees within Fiesta, which Fiesta is such a random game mode that it's actually kind of tricky to pull off like a good streak if you have to kind of like sweat it out a little bit, which is kind of the antithesis of what the idea of Fiesta is, it's just having fun weapons and blowing people up. But this is certainly a step in the right direction for sure. We'll be definitely earning a lot more XP. Though I say that my biggest issue with like this kind of new system is that like, sometimes I just kind of want to hop on for like a game or two, right? And just play. Uh, but that my mental state will just mess with me because like, well, I have to activate double XP because I get the, just a lot of XP for just playing the game for the first like six matches. But the thing is like, I might not have a full hour to dive into Halo Infinite. So it actually kind of stops me from playing because I want to maximize my time earning XP so I can get through this battle pass and just hop it on to play one game, which earns you your most XP for one game just feels a bit underutilized when I don't have double XP running all right now. So it's almost like I have to have a game session planned out to play Halo Infinite right now, which it's not how I've always kind of experienced Halo. Uh, I mean, yeah, for the most part, I'd probably keep me on track if I just divide up my time for just game session. That's Halo time and not like sprinkle Halo throughout the day, but it would just be kind of nice. But let me know if you guys are kind of having that same kind of feeling as well within the comments. We have a lot more to report on in later videos. 3 for 3 also talked about the matchmaking, Behemoth within rank settings, HCS cosmetics, as well as addressing cheating within Halo Infinite, which we'll cover in another video. So if you want to catch those news updates, make sure you hit subscribe on the channel, guys. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.